I've been running these Mega Revo inverters for about a year now. It really was just one of them for a while, and now I've got two. But one of the things that always really bugged me was the fact that you can see here, um, I would charge overnight, my battery is 100%, and then I would start using it about 5 a.m. So here it dipped to about uh, 17%. And then the sun came out, charged it back up, and I hit 100%. And when I hit 100%, my solar went from making, uh, here it was only making like, what, 5,000 watts down to only the loads in the house. And this was not a, a big heating or cooling day, right? So loads in the house was, what, four or 500 watts. And then that's all it really did up until the evening when um, I went back to needing a little more solar and I finished out the day but all this solar just went to waste like I didn't export it to the grid it just didn't do anything I've been working with the Mega Revo folk on getting some settings dialed in and I think there's some settings that only became available in recent firmware updates and whatnot so now I've got a pair of these Mega Revos and we can see right now my battery is at a hundred percent but now my excess is going to the grid. Now I realize that this isn't rocket science. The Solark has its, you know, limited export to grid feature, which does the same thing. So we're going to run off of battery and solar as much as possible. Once the battery is full, then we'll export to the grid in case we can get a little money back for that. So it's actually working now. In addition to that, I've noticed recently that. Um, running two inverters, what would happen is with this inverter having 8,300 watts connected to it worth of solar and this inverter only having 2,700 watts, um, this inverter would end up not having enough wattage of solar coming in. Right now it's got about 2,000 watts to, have, to, to do its portion of the loads. So you can see here this inverter's powering 4,000 watts of the loads. This one's only powering 1.4 kilowatts. So before, they would be powering the same amount of the loads, so this one would actually be pulling from the battery in order to supply loads, and this one would be charging the battery at the same time, because it's like, what the heck, I keep having to charge the battery, why doesn't the other inverter do a little more work? But now, it looks like the inverters are talking to each other a little bit more, so this inverter knows that the other inverter doesn't have enough solar coming in, so it's gonna go ahead and supply more to the loads. Now, why is that cool? Because uh, conversion efficiencies, taking the high voltage DC from the panels and either sending it to the grid or sending it to the loads has a very high efficiency compared to charging a battery. So we're charging a battery, we might be up at like 90% or 92% charging efficiency. Typically going from this high voltage DC over to the AC is like 95, 98%. So by this one doing more of the loads, we're actually getting more power out of the system in general because instead of this charging the battery and then the other inverter taking that battery power and back in, we're probably losing 10 to 15% of our energy by doing that. So pretty slick. I, I've been really frustrated with, Med with Mega Revo and how they don't talk to me very well and getting the communications going and all this but this is a cool feature assuming they did it on purpose in improving efficiency of the system and that's a good sign to me that they are working on it and getting firmware updates for for these things to make them operate the way that we want um, and improving efficiency is something that you usually see you know after some of the other bugs are squashed so I am I am excited to see how this thing is operating. This is the first day that it's been doing this. So we're gonna see how it operates in some of the other modes. Um, I am continually messing with this. And as my wife says, our house has uh, you know, got more power outages now than when we ran off of the grid, when we ran from the grid, which is true because every now and again, everything will just go dark because I keep messing with the inverters and then they don't appreciate that. So anyway, today is a win. Today, it's operating the way that I would expect.